What's up guys? Today, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be painting my plenum. Black. Thanks for watching. So this is my plenum right now. As you can see, it's kind of black and blue. What we did was we sprayed this high temp paint, but we didn't even sand it. We just literally sprayed on top with it on the, um, the actual lower plenum and then just sprayed some blue flakes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be sanding it with 220, which I don't even know what to use. This one seems pretty soft, so we're gonna be sanding all this down, but we're actually gonna take it all off and then we're gonna be hitting it with this Bristolium engine and ammo 500 degrees paint. You ready? Let's get started. So it's video. been about like 10 minutes and we've been removing the bolts. I'm sweating because it's been hot as hell. So I've removed the intake from the throttle body and I had to remove this hose that goes towards the battery of the car to here. So we're just going to be moving that little hose right there that connects to the plenum. And then we're going to try to remove this sensor right there that connects to the throttle body. Okay, so there's going to be a hose right here that you're going to need to remove. I don't even know what's in here. If you guys know, let me know. Probably has to do something with this fucking filter thing. Oh my god, it's not even coming off. Oh my god. Okay. Martin got a little hot, so he took off his shirt. Buff, dude. I'm so buff. I trouble taking off this damn clip right here that connects to the throttle body. So we're trying to figure that out, but everything else is already done. And then we're gonna remove it. Oh, you got a hose in the bottom too. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, just take off the throttle body. You gotta tape it off anyways, it's a lot of work. Just take it off. Okay, so I guess there is a hose leading right here. Like goes all the way behind it's it. on the bottom, like right it. underneath this. Yes. Looks like there's a hose connected. Okay, so we're gonna be taking that one off too. We're gonna end up reusing this throttle body gasket. You guys could get a new one, but for us, no. And we have a brand new gasket under here with the plenum that we installed probably like, what, 5,000 miles? So we don't really care about that either. Just so you know, I did all the work, but I'm letting Danny do the rest. Of course you better you put that in there, bitch. Of course you did. like 150 degrees out here. Oh my god, I'm trying to get that hose. I'll take the startle body off first. Pretty much we already got the bottom ones. And now we're just removing the top. Do not touch the butterfly, whatever it's called. Don't do it. The flutter by. Oh my god, there's three. There's three hoses that connect to it. Shit. So we were able to take it off. The only problem that we had to deal with was the coolant leaking and it was falling into here, so we wiped that off. But here's an update of how it looks from the last time we put the panel spacer on. It's actually been super clean, so I know that the oil catch can is actually doing something. And then this is the bottom itself, and then this is gonna be the bottom, which it does have some oil in there. So we should probably clean that up as well. But right now we're gonna be sanding it, then getting it ready to paint. Was it 220? Yeah. 220 so, grit. What says right here in the back? We bought the 3M 220 grit from Lowe's, which was like five bucks. 
pretty cheap. We're not gonna do this professionally. We just wanna make sure that it doesn't come off. We're gonna be sanding that down. And then like we also said before, we're gonna be spraying it with this on top of this little bucket. So this is about 30 minutes of sanding. We try to get it to a dull finish. Try sanding all the sides. And now we're just gonna be wiping it down. We're gonna be taping all this. What's up everyone? So pretty much wiped everything off. Danny and I ended up taping off where all the hoses go. And with the throttle body, the gasket goes for the throttle body. About two hours have passed and the plenum still isn't dry. Martin left to work because he's working nights now. So I'm just gonna give it probably like another hour, check on it, and then I'll show you guys how to put it back on myself. Okay, so I just put the plenum on. It's pretty much dry. I'm gonna drive it. It can resist up to 500 degrees temperature, so it'll be good. I'll show you guys how it looks right now. This is how the plenum looks now with the gloss black. I really like it. I know there's spots right here that I painted before with no sanding or anything. I just literally sprayed it on, but this carbon fiber cover is gonna be going on. So it should fit like that. Finally put everything back together, sweating. I still need to put the intake where the map sensor is back into the, the upper um, intake part because there's like three parts of it. But other than that, you saw it. I like the way it came out. I'm gonna put the carbon fiber cover on and we should be good getting clean culture ready. So, hope you liked this little video. Like, subscribe, and share.